From Channel 3, this is an Eyewitness News update. Good morning, I'm Caitlin Nuclo. It is Saturday, September 25th. We're following some breaking news overnight in Hartford. That's where a woman in her 20s is recovering in the hospital after a shooting that happened on Evergreen Avenue. This happened at about 12.30 this morning. Officials say she is expected to be okay and police are still investigating. Waterbury police are searching for the shooters that put a 10 year old boy in the hospital. This happened Thursday night on Congress Avenue. A 20 year old man was also shot. Both are expected to be OK. The police chief tells us it's a small group of people committing these crimes in the Brass City, and they are also they are often young people. Officials say they are following some strong leads today. And parents, listen up. Thousands of Connecticut students may have to find their own way to school on Monday because hundreds of bus drivers are threatening to not show up when the state's vaccine mandate goes into effect. This requires them to be fully vaccinated or undergo weekly COVID testing starting next week. We're told that drivers have been informed about free testing sites around the state, but 15 to 20 percent of them do not plan on complying. And happening today in Hartford, welcoming home soldiers from two units of the Connecticut National Guard. The, art, the ceremony is going to honor 70 members who supported Operation Spartan Shield in Jordan and Operation Freedom's Sentinel. That ceremony is taking place at the State Armory at 845 this morning. All right, so overall, we do have a nice day on this Saturday, a mix of sunshine and clouds. Clouds building as we head towards the afternoon, and temperatures will be in the 70s throughout our state. However, as we head towards tonight, we do have the chance for some showers, and also even an isolated thunderstorm is possible into tomorrow morning. This is due to an area of low pressure passing through, and forecast lows for tonight, so you can see temperatures will be in the 50s and the upper 40s. However, the eastern portion of our state has the greatest chance of getting brushed by those showers and storms. Seven day forecast shows us we dry out though for tomorrow. 74 degrees, breezy conditions. Monday, a slight chance of a shower, a greater chance for Tuesday, and then breezy conditions in the upper 60s and the mid 60s as we close out the week ahead.